friends uh, we have in the previous study in previous video we have learned something about triangle some similarity and pythagoras theorem and all that now we will try to solve some problems using them using those what we have studied now here in the first problem he has given a figure he has given a figure like this a b c is a triangle now he has drawn a line perpendicular to uh the sorry parallel to this b e is parallel to b c he has given this is 1.5 cm this is 1 cm this is 3 cm 1.5 cm 3 cm 1 cm he is asking what is ec find ec now if d is parallel to if d is parallel to bc we know that we know that ah uh, ad by db ad by db is equal to uh, ae by ec ae by ec right this by this is equal to this by this now what i want is ec i know all the three of them so i can get ec so ec will be equal to db into ae db into ae divided by ad so db is db is 3 into ae is 1 cm divided by ad is 1.5 cm so 1.5 ones are 1.52 are so this should be 2 cm that's it we have given one more one more problem similar to that here is a here is a triangle this is a this is b this is c is drawn de is parallel to bc again he has given this is 7.2 cm this is 1.8 cm and ec is 5.4 cm 5.4 cm find ad what is ad now we know if d is again parallel to bc then ad by db ad by db is equal to ae by ec e by ec so ad will be equal to ae into B, db or bd divided by ec ae is 1.8 into db is 5.4 divided by 7.2 or it can be written as nine into point two nine into point eight one time this is four times no, there is some mistake here a d by d b is equal to a e by e c correct E E into D B E E to D B. So E E is one point eight into D B is seven point two divided by E C is five point four. Five point four. Eighteen ones are eighteen threes are three ones are. This will be three two sa two point four. So this will be two point four centimeter. That is this will be AD will be two point four centimeters. Right. Then we'll do some more problems. These are two problems 
similar problems. Next, E and F are E and F are points on sides, points on sides, on sides, PQ and PR, PQ and PR, respectively, respectively. of a triangle PQR of a triangle PQR for each of the following cases state whether EF is parallel to QR so we will draw a rough sketch PQR E and F E is a point on PQ and F is a point on PR Right? Now he has given first case is PE is equal to 3.9 centimeter. PE is equal to 3.9 centimeter. EQ is equal to 3 centimeters. PF is 3.6 centimeters. And uh, FR is 2.4 cm. Now, with this data, we have to tell whether EF is, uh, sorry, EF, EF is parallel to QR or not. Now, we know if they are parallel, we have to check whether PE by, what is PE by? EQ. PE by EQ is 3.9 divided by 3, that is 1.3. The ratio of PE to EQ is 1.3. What is PF by FR? PF by FR is 3.6 divided by 2.4, or that is 36 by 24. So, uh, 8, no, 6, 6, uh, 6, 4, uh, 3 by 2, 2, 2, uh, 2, 3, uh, 12, 2, uh, 12, 3, uh, right, 3 by 2. This is, so this, they are not equal. PE by EQ is not equal to PF by FR. Therefore, therefore, EF, EF is not parallel to QR. You have to write like that. Now, in the second case, he says PE is PE is. PE is 4 cm, 4 cm, QE is 4.5 cm, 4.5 cm, PF is 8 cm, 8 cm, and FR is 9 cm. 9 cm. Again, PE by EQ. PE by EQ. 4 by 4.5. 4 by 4.5. Or it is 40 by 45. 5 9 5 8 sa. It is 8 by 9. This ratio is 8 by 9. What is PF by FR? PF by FR. That is 8 
by 9. So now Pe by Eq is equal to Pf by Fr. Both are in the same ratio. Therefore now in this case Ef is parallel to Qr. Qr like this. This is one one type. Next uh, she has given a figure. There are some more problems, you try to solve them. Now, uh, I am taking one more problem. Uh, he has given a figure like this. ABCD is a quadrilateral uh, in which we have drawn. AC is the uh, one of the diagonals. L is a point on the diagonal from M. We have drawn two lines LM and LN such that they are parallel to BC and DC. Right. BC and DC. Now, he says if LM is parallel to BC and uh, LN is parallel to CD, if LM is parallel to BC and uh, NL is parallel to CD. Prove that. Prove that AM by AB. AM by AB is equal to uh, AN by AD, he says. AD. <coughs> now, uh, what I will do is ABC is a triangle, right? ABC is a triangle. In this triangle, this line LN, LN is parallel to BC. So what happens is this uh, AM is to BM or MB. AM is to MB uh, in triangle ABC. Uh, because LM is parallel to BC, AM is to AM by MB will be equal to AL by AL by LC. AL by LC. Now, uh, this can also be written as uh, AM by AB AM by AB is equal to AL by AC This is a corollary of the theorem which says that if in any triangle we, uh, we draw a, par a parallel to one of the sides of the triangle the other two sides will be cut by that line in the same ratio it, one of the corollary is AM by AB, this is AM by AB is equal to AL by AC. This is a corollary of that. So it is, this we will call as 1. Similarly, in triangle, in triangle ADC, ADC it is given that NL is parallel to DC. So because N, LN is parallel to DC, DC, we have uh, a, a n by n d a n by n d is equal to a l by l c now as a corollary I can write instead of a n by n d I can write a n by a d is equal to a l by a c a l by a c I can write like that also. So here by comparing these two, you can see this right hand side is same in both the equations. So the, the right hand side is same. Comparing equation 1 and 2, we can write AM by AB is equal to AN by AD. That's it. That is what he wants us to prove. This is the proof that we, he wants. We have done it. Right. This is the problem. Next, 
I will take up some more problems for your benefit so that you can do if you practice more number of problems you will become better. The next problem we are going to take is A, B, C, D is a trapezium. A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Is a trapezium. In which A, B is parallel to C, D. A, B parallel to C, D. Right. And its diagonals. And its Diagonals, diagonals intersect, intersect at O, intersect at O. Show that, show that AO by BO, AO by BO is equal to CO by DO, CO by DO. Now we will draw a rough sketch. This is let us say a trapezium A B C D is a trapezium A B C D. Now diagonals are A C and B D. They are intersecting at O. Here a B is parallel to C D. A B is parallel to C D. Now what happens is we have we get two triangles here. One is A B C and the other is A D C. Or or okay, we'll take these two triangles. Now <laughs> this angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle, right? So three angles of this triangle are equal to three angles of that triangle, right? Angle in triangles, in triangles uh, AOB and DOC, AOB and DOC, we have what we have angle AOB is equal to angle DOC, angle AOB is equal to angle COD or DOC because they are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. Right. Now angle BAC or angle BAO angle BAO is equal to angle ACD. Angle ACD because they are alternate angles alternate angles are equal. These two sides are parallel. Now similarly uh, this angle is equal to this angle or even if two angles are equal we can say by AA criterion by AA criterion we have we have angle a triangle triangle OAB is similar to triangle OCD. OCD. So therefore, therefore, uh, therefore, AO by OC, AO by OC is equal to uh, BO by BO by DO or AO by BO AO by BO is equal to CO by DO DO which is what you have to prove you have shown that they are equal the next is the diagonals of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other point such that AO by BO is equal to CO by DO show that ABCD is a trapezium 
this is the next problem which is the reverse of this what he has done is he has given this ao by bo is equal to co by do he has given same problem if this is equal then then you can write ao by oc is equal to bo by do so if these two ratios are equal then these two triangle these two triangles are they are uh, similar and hence these angles are equal this angle is equal to that therefore they are parallel to each other you can show like that this is the reverse the converse of that right i need not do it once again i will go to the next exercise next exercise ah uh, here yeah. we have let us take this problem in figure if qr by qs is equal to qt by qr and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 show that triangle pqs is similar to angle triangle pqr Here, in figure, he has given a figure. P, T. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is Q. This is Q. This is T. This is R. R. Ah, uh, P S, P S is this is P. This is yes, yes. This is angle one. Now here he has joined P R. P R is joined. Now this. Angle he calls as two. He says, if Q R by Q S, if Q R by Q S is equal to Q T by P R, and angle one is equal to angle two, show that, show that triangle. PQS PQS is similar to triangle PQR right this is it so QR by QS QR by QS is equal to uh, QT by Q uh, QT by PR QT by PR and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 show that triangle pqs is similar to triangle pqr there is pqs p q s this is one triangle then the other triangle is pqr p q r now in this triangles angle q is same angle q will be Equal to angle Q because that's a common, common angle. Common angle to both the triangles. These triangles, PQS and PQR, is the same. Then one PQS. Now PQR. Is equal to P R S. 
angle PQR, angle PQR or PQS is equal to angle PQS is equal to angle PRQ, angle PRQ, PRQ. PR or I can call that as even TQR. I can call that as no, I can't call that. PRS, which triangle I'm taking. These two are equal. So PQ will be equal to I think PQ will be equal to PR. PQ will be equal to PR because these two angles are same. PQ is equal to QR. QR. PQ, yes. And PQR. QR. So I think this, by this uh, two this equal. So this angle PQS will be see by this if these two angles are equal that is this angle and this angle are equal then PQ is equal to PR PQ is equal to PR now it is given that QR by QS is equal to QT by PR. This is given given in the problem. Now instead of PR, I can write it as PQ also. So QR by QS is equal to QQ by PQ. So by by SAS criterion, SAS criterion, I can write I can write that triangle triangle PQS is similar to triangle PQR. This is what he wants us to show. So we have shown it. Next, next problem is like this, you see, he has given here three sides of a triangle and he says, you tell whether it is a right angle triangle or not. Right? He has given three sides. Now, first, first case is, in the first case he says, the sides are 7 cm, 24 cm and 25 cm. Now, we have to tell whether it is a right angle triangle or not. Now, here you see, of the three, if this is a right angle triangle, this is the biggest side, longest side, that is the longest side. So that must be the hypotenuse, right? If that is the hypotenuse, its square, 25 square is 625, 625. Now I will take the other two sides. What is 7 square? 7 square is 49. What is 24 square? 24 square is 576. If we add 49 plus 576, we get 625. So here the sum of the squares that is 7 square plus 24 square is equal to 25 square. The sum of these two sides, squares of these two sides is equal to the square on this side, longest side. Hence it is, this should be a right angle triangle. Therefore the given triangle, given triangle is a right angle triangle and uh, right angle triangle and the 25 centimeter side is its is its hypotenuse you have to write like that hypotenuse he has given one more 3 centimeter 8 centimeter 6 centimeter 3 centimeter 8 centimeter and 6 centimeter now the longest side here is 8. Now 8 square, you know, is 64. 8 square is 64. Now 3 square is 9. 
6 square is 36. Now 36 plus 9 is not equal to 64. They don't add up to 64. Therefore, this is not a this triangle. It, the given triangle is not a is not a right angle triangle. You have to write like that. Yes, given some more like that, you will have to solve them. 